one more nice idea about being on the on, on the road, on the derech, on the path, and returning. So tshuva, repentance, which is so terribly translated as, really means that I'm returning to something. And really, by us, it means I'm returning to who I really am. I'm returning to myself, the place that I came from. And the place that I came from is spiritual oneness, wholeness, purity. From the upper worlds of spirituality, very close to the Creator, to Hashem. So, when Rabbi Nachman said, In a way, I told the story, then everyone who heard of it, called Misha Shema, had a hearer of a thought of repentance, of turning, of going back. It's not repentance. It's going back to become who I really am. Going back to the depths of my soul. Going back to where I came from. Tachas Kisya Kavod. Underneath the throne of Hashem. So one, one other aspect of this that I, I think is a great example I heard from Marshall Weinberger is he said that, you know, imagine you have a couple that comes for counseling and, and the wife says, you know, I don't... What's become of our relationship? What, what are we doing together? I don't feel like we have any spark. I don't feel like we have any magic. What happened to our love, to our passion? And so the husband says, what do, you, what do you mean? You know, like, am I not a good husband? Do I not, you know, go to work and bring home, go and put bread on the table? Don't we have beautiful children together? Don't we have a nice house? Don't we... Aren't things pretty good? And the wife says, yeah, you're right. You know what? You're really... You're a good husband. You're a nice guy. And yeah, you make money. And you... And we have a nice house. And we have beautiful children. We have a lovely family. But that's it? Where's our passion? Where's that passion that we used to have? Where's that soul connection that we used to have? Where's that deep spiritual connection that we used to have? And, you know, these two people are living with different expectations. The wife wants the lost princess. She wants a connection that's deep, that's spiritual, that's shining bright with the, you know, the glow of each other's souls becoming encompassed. And the husband feels like, I'm not doing my part. So he hasn't woken up yet. He hasn't even realized that he's asleep yet in this, in this little muscle that I'm making up here. <laughs> right? But this is how we can be in our lives also. We can be going, going along our lives thinking, okay, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I went to school. I got a job. I got married. You know, I'm paying the bills. That's all that I need to do, right? Until something wakes me up and says, wait a second, there's much more to life than paying bills and making more money so that you can spend more money. There's much more to life than this. There's a relationship, there's spirituality, there's spiritual bliss, there's simcha, there's, there's, there's all the, there's Torah, there's depth, there's tefillah, there's all kinds of, 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 of beautiful spiritual existences that we, can, that we can be part of. And we can wake up and be ready for this. So, so too, this is us. And that's what it means to return. It doesn't mean that I'm, I'm doing something wrong. I've been a bad boy and I got to change. It means that no, I need to go back to who I really am. I need to go back to where I came from. Where did I come from? Was a chelak alikamimal, a peace of Hashem, an infinite spiritual existence. I need to go back to being a spiritual existence. That's who I really am. That's who I have to go back to. That's why tshuva means to return to what we're supposed to be, to who we are, rather than fix something that's broken. So this is the way Rabbi Nachman started the story. We should all continue to search for the lost princess together and get back to that incredible, bright, powerful spiritual existence that we all are and we all can return to. Have a great week.